Hello beautiful people, thank you for popping in to see what I'm up to. Well, <laughs> I need to start a prepper pantry all over again. Well, a working one anyway. The majority of my preps are in a storage locker. I've got all them, some more down there, and there, and there, <laughs> and some mess and sort out this to get a whole heap of preps into. So I'll show you as I do it. Well, it's slowly getting there. It's starting to look a bit more ordered. I know there's, um, yeah, it's still disorganized down here, <laughs> still. It's getting there. I need to do a trip out to the storage unit and the kids come back so I can get some stuff that I need in here and take boxes from here. Those ones there need to go to the storage unit basically. So it's still a mess but I'm getting there slowly. So after four exhausting hours I'm finally done and I've still got to go shopping at the storage unit because there's stuff in here that I need that I don't have all stuff that's not in here that I need you know what I mean anyway so we've got stuff up here and behind the canisters there's extras so it's all and of course, cereal extra cereal the tins are looking very sad at the moment so yes I need to go shopping in the storage unit uh, See, I've got quite a bit of empty space. I've got all the pasta, oh, excuse me, and rice in here. And there's more pasta behind this. There's lasagna sheets and what have you behind that. And then this is the coffee, tea, hot chocolate area and Milo with some bickies. This is kind of like the baking section or the sweet section, whichever way you want to call it. We've got some medications there. Then I've got like a breakfast area. So you've got all your cereals and your jams and what have you. And then there's extras down the back. Still got more room though. And then of course we've got all our condiments and herbs and spices and meal mix thingies and then down here is kind of like the snacky bit apart from the orange juice so we've got snacks or quick meals um so yeah all them in there some leftover christmas stuff which will probably get demolished when they get home in there's all the bickies and stuff to munch on extra oil there's all the snacky naughty stuff in there and then in there I've got the spuds and tidies keep them fresh in the dark so that's the pantry straightened anyway it needs to have more food in it but I'll sort that out once the kids back get back so that's the space I'm hang on can I get it all in or am I going to trip over a cat? That's the space I'm working in for my working pantry. As I said, I've got preps in the storage unit. So close that up and swing you around. Ta-da! Everything's nice and neat now. So this is extras in case I need it. So I'll just um, get the stuff I need out of storage. I've got stuff ready there to, to take to the storage unit to put in so I can bring stuff back. So that goes all the way down there. All the way down there. So I've got the working pantry, the second pantry here, and then the super long term in the storage unit, which I have to go through because there's stuff in the super long term that I have to pull out and replace it with fresher stuff. So, yes, it's been a long day. 
but I finally have a clean kitchen. It's only taken me three weeks. So there you go, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tickle that bell, and don't forget to share me. And I will catch you all soon. See ya.